the dollar bills, how I feel when you ballin', ballin' Goin' places they never go It ain't all about the money, but I stack it cause you never know I'ma live life till I overdose, where they sleepin' on me, that's comatose Hey, what's up everybody? Hope everybody's doing good Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. After you subscribe, hit the notification button right next to the subscription button. I will appreciate that very much. Today, we're going to talk about the top two reasons why EA has been slacking on gameplay. Now, if you've been on Twitter, if you've been in the Madden community for a while, you know that they've been saying that the long shot is leading the campaign. Long shot is the career mode for you, those of you guys who haven't been following Madden for a while. They say that long shot is what they're going to lead the campaign off with. Now, the reason why we haven't got gameplay is long shot is supposed to reach the younger crowd and the new people. What EA is thinking in their head as far as a lack of gameplay is, they feel like they already got us. All of us that is following them, especially Mutt, if you are following them on Twitter, following Rex, if you following Jay Stein, they already feel like they got you guys. Me also. They already feel like they have us. So they want to reach out to the people that haven't purchased the game in a few years and they want to reach the younger crowd who is looking for a new twist to it you know what i mean without all the negative feedback on madden is gonna be just like madden 17 aggressive catch madden 16 they don't want to hear all that all of us that played the game last year know how the game is so if they can limit the amount of gameplay that gets in in front of our eyes that's less voice that we will have because we will be the ones that keep it real a lot of us want real life video gaming right now so if we don't have it in front of our eyes to be able to judge it we can't get out there to the other people who probably on the verge of should i pre-order it or should i not pre-order it so that's the number one reason the number two reason is if you've been following gs or toke last year uh ea somebody in ea gave away free points and they didn't give it to their own uh madden youtubers so this year they are being real lightly and waiting for the game changers uh footage to get out to make sure that like gs said take care of your own even though they lost gs in the community and he has turned to nba they said the uh, YouTubers were saying, always take care of your own. If you don't take care of your own, then that is wrong. They was taking care of somebody from the NBA 2K uh, community, trying to bring in more people out of the NBA community to help build Madden. So, in return, they ended up losing GS, who was probably, hands down, one of the most loyal Madden YouTubers because he played football, 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 most likely, more than any other game, and he spent... 15 to 20 grand on the game he didn't even take vacations spend time for his own self worry about anything else it was just video game video game video game putting up videos putting up videos having the best cards having the best team so them are the top two reasons man if y'all got y'all input on why y'all think it's a lack of gameplay let me know in the comment section we can elaborate on this even more but i did see that they dropped the rookie ratings which is whack because we all want gameplay all we want to do is see at least one full quarter of how the cornerback and db interactions actually play to back up all the talk that they saying how do you id the mic how the blocking and the mechanics has changed to back up all the talk